Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I am going to be crafting with some new goodies that I got from Alta New. And I am playing along with Kendra's Card Challenge 12. I will make two cards in this video that are going to be the same and both will be sketch number 14. In sketch number 14, as it's shown, that's going to be a portrait oriented USA 2, so that measures four and a quarter by five and a half tall. I am actually going to adapt that uh, a couple of ways. I am going to continue to use my four by six card bases that are pre made and I'm trying to use them up. And I am going to turn this so that instead of being portrait orientation, I'm going to make it landscape oriented. I started off with one pattern paper from Altenu and I made my first cut at three and three quarters of an inch wide and from that I cut two pieces that are two and a half inches tall. Then from the remaining strip that I have, which measures two and a quarter inches wide by six inches tall, I am going to cut that in half lengthwise so that I get one and one eighth of an inch by six inches. Now, originally you would be using papers C and D if you were to play along with the challenge in full and follow the cutting guide. If you're not familiar with Kendra's card challenge, what it is is a free downloadable PDF where you can download um, a cutting guide that shows you how to cut six sheets of six by six pattern paper and as well included in the PDF is a card sketch guide that lays out 15 different card sketches that you can create with those six sheets of pattern papers and um, using up all of the pieces. So what's really great is that if you follow along with the card sketch, you're going to have little to no scraps left over, which I really love. Today though, I just wanted to make a couple quick cards, which is always an option because this is a fabulous resource in and of itself, well beyond the challenge. And so I like to keep these PDFs and refer back to them when I am looking for different ideas for card layouts. So today I'm also trying to optimize so that I can use one sheet of um, 6x6 pattern paper as effectively as possible. And so I've adapted my cuts a little bit to accommodate for that. So by cutting it this way, I only had one little piece left over that was about um, like three and a half inches or so by one inch. So not, not too bad in terms of scraps left over. And I'm actually going to make an eclipse style card. And what that is is basically, um, I see this mostly with sentiments, but you could do it with, I suppose, anything. Um, what I'm going to do is cut into the pattern paper the word friend. And I laid out my dies and lined them all up and uh, used some low tack tape to hold them together and that way everything is nice and lined up. It's got that full strip of low tech tape on the back. I can use that uh, for my next card as well. I'm only going to show making the one but because the second card is going to be nearly identical to it. I'm going to keep all of the letters that fall out of this and insert them back into where they came out. So I did intentionally space the word because we want to keep all pieces of this. I uh, kept the words, I kept the, or I kept the letters, the die cuts that fell out as well as the uh, pattern paper that I die cut from. And I am going to insert those letters right back where they came except with the um, uh, addition of some 3D glue gel behind them and that gives it a little bit more dimension and as well adds a little bit of that um, uh, the ability to kind of see some of the black that is uh, behind on my card base because I've cut a piece of black 
uh, solid color cardstock to be my first matte layer that goes down. So when the sentiment is going to get glued on top of this, there will be a little bit of that black showing through, so it gives you a little bit of a shadow, And um, but on the whole, it's going to have that very continuous look. So really fun, simple card to do, and I like having cards like these on hand because the um, on the outside the sentiment is really general because you can use, well I've chosen it to be general um, because I just put the word friend so the, really it, it can be used for any occasion. And then that way I can, uh, when I go to use this card, I can actually stamp it out on the inside, the sentiment that I want for the occasion that I want. So now is a good time for me to mention that my video today is part of a giveaway hop that is a part of our super sponsor highlight for Altenew. So to find all of the videos on this hop, just click on the hashtag KCC12Altenew and you'll find lots of videos that my teammates are sharing, all featuring different products from Altenew. Um, they are a super sponsor of Kendra's Card Challenge and they've generously supplied uh, some members of our design team with products of our choice to feature and create with. And so definitely um, hop along, check out what everybody else picked to work with and all of the inspiration that they are sharing. Kendra is offering a giveaway, so to find out more details about the giveaway, just expand the description box and there'll be a form, a link to a form that you can fill out to enter for a chance to win her giveaway. Now, the hashtags on YouTube don't always work reliably, so if for some reason clicking on that hashtag kcc 12 altenew doesn't actually bring up all of the videos on the hop, you can also find direct links to everybody's video in the description box as well. So if you'd like, you can um, go to each video directly. And thank you so much to Altenew for being a super sponsor and supplying us with these products to craft with. As well, Altenew is a prize sponsor. So if you play along with the card sketch challenge, that is if you um, create a full set of 15 cards and enter it into the official entry album on Facebook, then you could actually win a prize from Altenew and many other prize sponsors who have donated to support this challenge. So I hope that you'll play along and not only get this fabulous resource of card sketches and really great ideas for when you are in sort of a bit of a creative slump, that's when I like to bring out card sketches because it just really gets my um, creativity flowing just to start, have a starting point to craft with. And it doesn't feel like it's such, you know, a white blank canvas if I actually have something to, you know, go with or start with. So that's why I love card sketch challenges and Kendra's is really phenomenal for the fun prizes that you can win, but for just the sheer volume of card sketches that you get with each challenge. Now the challenge does does run for three months from October 1st to December 31st and each month that is October, November, and December you can enter one time and each entry has to be the full set of 15 cards. So um, not only are there prize uh, challenge or prizes that you can win at the end of the challenge but at the end of each month Kendra picks prize winners too. So you don't have to wait until the very end of the challenge or when the challenge completes to see if you've won something. You can always check back each month. Now here I've stamped my sentiment on the inside and I love, I really love this stamp set from Altenew because it has some really lovely sort of longer verses or phrases. So I think it's awesome for, you can use them on the outside too, I've used them on the outside, but I think they're really fabulous for the inside. They're called Beautiful Inside, and the die set that I used is called the Tall Alpha die, and I mentioned that the paper pad I use is actually called Dreamy Sunset Paper Pack.
I hope that you enjoyed this video today. Please do hop along and check out everybody else's video. If you like our videos, I hope that you'll leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more from each of us, do consider subscribing to our channels and ringing that notification bell so you can get an alert whenever we post new content to our channels. Thanks so much and until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.